to my channel. Have you ever thought about being an artist full time or just love watching time lapses and hearing about the creative process that goes into artwork? Or maybe you wanna know anything about running a small business because there's a lot of transferable stuff in there. Then welcome to my channel. I switched from being a marine biologist full time working with whales and penguins to painting wildlife art uh, pretty much a year ago. And now I've created this YouTube channel to help document the process and figure out how other people may want to come along and join in the journey and hopefully I can inspire some other people to create a career that's entirely flexible around your own schedule and desires because it's been fabulous. As a quick summary, in my first year of painting full time, I have sold over $20,000 worth of artwork. I only made about six grand because there's a lot of cost in starting up, but those are kind of the numbers that I'm starting with as of wrapping up 2021, and we're gonna see what happens in 2022. So one of the key activities that I did in 2021 to help kick off my art business was create a bunch of inventory. This was great because then I had stuff on my website that I could direct people when I later made my website in March. And the 31 day challenge is starting today, January 1st, technically tomorrow because I'm recording this on the 31st, but yeah. And I'm gonna paint 31 different species of animals this year. Last year I did 31 different species of cetaceans, which are whales and dolphins. This year we are opening it up so I get to practice a bunch of different wildlife textures, fur, feathers, scales. We're gonna do it all. And I also made a double challenge of producing a video every single day as part of this challenge. So why did I decide to make a YouTube channel now? When I was looking back on 2021 and some of my favorite aspects of my business that I've created that I had a lot of fun with, one of them was creating a Skillshare class. I just posted the video below. I'll link to it if I can figure out how ending screens work on YouTube. Maybe you'll learn that skill today. So I absolutely loved the process of filming a video, editing it, and watching people take it and DMing me their paintings that they have done, even if they didn't want to post it in the class project publicly to Skillshare. I probably had about five or six people send me paintings that they had done of of my class, which was so great. The class also has about seven reviews at this time, and I really want to create more Skillshare classes and just online classes in general. I think it's super fun and a great way to pass on your knowledge and skills to a large number of people. One of the problems that I had, and it was a mess to edit, nothing was organized, and it, it the whole class filming, editing, everything, it took about a month for me to just try and learn everything to go into this one class. I'm really proud of the end result, but it took way too long. So my main motivation with starting a YouTube video is to get in front of the camera and practice editing videos faster so that I can make classes and courses at a much quicker rate. Now that I'm busier as an artist, I can't just take a month off to create a Skillshare class. I have to keep working and delivering commissions and people are lined up now, which is mind blowing. And I am so excited to be able to edit videos faster, which is the main goal of just pushing through this next month, doing a bunch of paintings, doing a bunch of video editings. So I hope you want to follow along the journey of the next 31 days of trying to create a new wildlife painting every single day. I'm about to switch this to filming the introduction video for our very first painting, which I'm going to start painting in the next half an hour, edit all this later, is going to be a tiger. So it is the year of the tiger and we are going to start there and we'll we'll see what it looks like then we'll see you around the internet so if this is later i should have been able to link a video i think in the ending screen if you see it somewhere i don't know maybe i'm in the way it'll be there apparently it takes 20 seconds to get an end card and maybe this is enough time 